Well, I mean, what happened? They, you know, they got us out. I mean, you know, it's a, uh, it's kind of it's easy to say what happened when, you know, when they're pitching. We just didn't get any, uh, we didn't get any two out hits. The difference in the ball game is that they got two out hits, and the two out hits they got weren't necessarily hard. We hit the ball harder than they did, but you can't guide the ball. And uh, I mean, that's sometimes it's one of those nights when. When the ball's falling their way and it's not falling your way, you know sometimes there's no explanation, you know about, you know about what happened. You know it's like you're gonna lose 50, win 50, like they say. And what you do with the other 62 games in the middle, that's what. And you know who knows, um, you know tonight might have been one of those 50 because um, it just seems like whatever they they um, did was right and whatever we did was wrong. And, uh, it's one of those games. So, so you, you guys had a lot of strikeouts tonight, and we were talking late in the spring about how mm-hmm. you know, you, that's something that really frustrates you because nothing good can come out of that. Right. Do, you, do you view that tonight as kind of an aberration? Do you view that as something? Well, I'd like to think it's an aberration. But, I mean, we got nine walks. You know, I mean, they were walking us. Uh, but, you know, we, we couldn't come up with that big hit other than Murphy's. And, uh, um, uh, you know, you hate to – Use the late get in, but you could see such sort of the guy's concentration level wasn't the same, you know, like it had been in the past. So, I mean, tomorrow's off day is coming right on time. Uh, it was a long, long game, short night, and, uh, you know, they're going to enjoy hopefully this day off and sleep in some and, um, you know, come back strong the next day. What did you uh, see from Tanner Roark and uh, I guess what? Well, Mike and I talked about it, you know, like he was, like always, um, <clears throat> you know, we were getting pretty close to when it was going to be too long. and But he was throwing in between in the bullpen. Um, and I asked him, I says, hey, man, you tell us the truth, how you feel, if you feel any tightness or anything. And uh, and he says, yeah, uh, no, I'm not. And he says, I'm telling you the truth. And he said that uh, <clears throat> it's too early, which I – concurs too early for heroes in, in game number three. And so, uh, you know, you got to take him at his word. You know, he's a pretty honest guy. And Mike evaluated and I evaluated and decided to, to send him back out there. So. Word puts a little bit in between if you play the first mm-hmm. couple games. What do you think? Well, that's what happens. I mean, you're when, you, when you're in between, you're kind of in no man's land. You're, you're in between. You're late on fastballs and you're early on breaking balls. And, uh, you know, right now his timing is off. And, um, I mean, he's frustrated um, because I can see it in his face, but we're all frustrated. But, you know, we played three games, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, three games. I mean, all you need is a couple good games, and then you're right back back on top, especially early in the year like this. So, um, you know, I was hoping that, you know, he'd have a big game tonight. And so – we're just gonna put him back out there tomorrow or besides, Friday. Besides the late get in, mm-hmm. you have Murphy come off that, come back from that O two count, hits that triple, and you mm-hmm. feel like it's early in the game, but the momentum has shifted a little bit. Yes, when, yeah. when the rain comes, what kind of effect does that have when you just had that kind of momentum? Well, yeah, I mean that's a good question. I mean, <clears throat> you know, when the rain comes, yeah, I mean you're just like a downer. And and you're like, oh and then you gotta go sit in the clubhouse. But you know, they got the sit in the clubhouse and did, didn't do the same thing. You know, we didn't know how long we were going to sit in the clubhouse. I mean, that's one of the, uh, the, the things that you got to deal with, especially in the spring, uh, you know, spring rains, you know, and, um, you know, adverse weather. And um, so you got to deal with it. No, like I said, these guys, I think they're, they're pretty used to it because I didn't hear anybody complain or uh, anything about, about the weather or, or, or rain delays. I mean, these guys are, you know, you know, a very good bunch about not complaining because I really don't want to hear it anyway. <laughs> and so, but, uh, you know, these guys aren't aren't big complainers. And like I said, sometimes, you know, sometimes uh, you lose and sometimes you get beat. And, and tonight, I think we got beat. In, mm-hmm. in the eighth, um, two outs for Endoza, are you at the point yet where you're like, okay, if we could just get it to, to Harper, then we've got a real possibility? Um, well, yeah, I mean, shoot, that's, that's that's every day, you know, we can get it to Harper. But, you know, Rendon's a pretty good player himself and a pretty good hitter. You know, like our lineup's pretty good. 
And so, you know, it's not just harp. You can't just win on harp. Um, you know, some of the other guys have to, you know, have to come through. And um, but like I said, this is this is our third game, and uh, so just just be patient because that's what I'm forced to do. Did you uh, hear the MRI results? No, no, I don't think there are any yet. So I, I've been waiting here, but I haven't heard. Okay. You, you mean on Ben? You mean? Yeah. On Revere, no, I haven't heard anything.